Hey guys, welcome back or welcome for the first time to the Shangri-La Schoolhouse. I'm Brooke and I was going to talk about my mommy morning basket today. If you've been around or even looked into anything homeschool related, you've probably seen a morning basket. Well, we'll get into that for us later when I do curriculum planning, but for now, I was going to show you guys my like personal morning basket that I do while the kids are just kind of waking up, having a slow morning, and I can get my me time in. So good. Okay, first, we obviously, the Bible. Um, it's the beautiful word, and I, I really, really do like it because, I mean, it's got these pretty... This is the one I open to the most, actually. But it's got these pretty things on the side, like the verses, but highlighted. So that's nice. Um, next, I have my actual study, which is the When Words Fail from Proverbs 31 Ministries. Um, so their website's proverbs31.org, and I can actually link that below. But they have um, really good, I mean, easy to follow along studies of different books. So this one is the study of Psalms, but it's only through ver um, chapter 72. So each day you have a reading and then you just fill out the questions and it just kind of makes you think a little deeper into what you're reading. Um, actually, they don't sell the print version of this anymore. So I had to print and get it bound at Office Max. Office Max, Office Depot, one of, whichever one. Um, and I got it done in black and white because color was a bit more expensive before I got my Insta Ink subscription. We'll talk about that more one day too. Um, then of course, pens and highlighters, obviously. Um, I like these because they're the mild, they're not super bright and like in your face. And the Dollar Tree actually has a version sometimes you can find called Jot and they're like a dollar for four pack and it's the same like light colors. Um, then we have our friction clicker erasable pens. My husband thinks these are somehow magic because they erase perfectly and the erasers actually never like go away at all. It is, it is weird, but they're amazing and I use these for planning, all sorts of things. Um, what's next? Little sticky note tabs. I mean, of course. And then a little pouch that came with my Erin Condren planner that's full of just markers and pens and Bible highlighters. Ooh, these are great. Um, the Zebra Bible highlighter. I don't know if that's going to focus in, but these are so good for actually highlighting in your Bible. I haven't tried these in the Bible. I don't know if I would, honestly. Um, but these, the Zebra, Z Bright Bible Highlighters. So good, they don't go through at all. So, stuff like that in here. Um, then I have, it's like a little prayer journal. Um, I got this from Jane when it was on sale one day. I'll try to find something similar and link it because I'll eventually need a new one myself, but I just like how simple it is. It's not asking for a lot, so it doesn't take a lot of time. Um, just circle the day, your date, what you're thankful for, your goals and tasks for the day, prayer request, verse of the day, and then down here, I've just been, since we're living in the pandemic, I've been putting kind of interesting notes, things that are happening. So one day when I pull this out, I can look back and say, oh, so-and-so was happening that day. Bummer. Or that's exciting. Just little notes of things I want to keep for later. And then another little thing that I've been doing lately is once I fill this out, I just snap a picture with my phone. That way when I'm laying in bed and I'm going to pray again at night, I can look back and remember what I wrote down. So that way, it just instead of having to get it out and bring it to the bed, because I save my nighttime prayers when I'm laying in bed. 
Um, next, I have praying the scriptures for your children. This has been so good so far. Kind of eye-opening to things I've not thought about. I mean, I'm not very far in. I'm taking it super slow. Um, it goes through, so like, praying for your child's salvation. And then it's just this one little story. And then it gets to this prayer principle, and I stop. And then, so the next day, I'll pick it up and go to the next prayer principle. And then that's it. Like, I don't care if it takes me 10 years to get through this book. I want to do it slow. Just soak it all in. Um, but it has been pretty eye-opening. Like, I mean, some things you don't think of for praying for your kids. And you, I don't know why you would until somebody points it out. That's just me and my life, actually. Um, I was doing this one also, but I think I'm going to wait to pick it back up until I really get in my good rhythm with my new study and I'm getting in a good rhythm. And I may even just pick this one up maybe at rest time when the kids are having their quiet time and not try to fit it in in the morning because once the kids are up and moving and hungry, things get a little rushed. Little book. It is Treasuring Christ When Your Hands Are Full, Gospel Meditations for Busy Moms. And I think we can agree that's all of us. So this one is set up a lot like the uh, praying the scriptures. It's just short little bits. Um, and with this one, I don't read it chapter to chapter. I just read like this is one little story here and it stops here. So I'll stop here, really kind of take it all in, process it. And then my big goal is to apply these things. I'm really bad about just reading something to get it done, check it off the list, okay. And then later I'll think, but wait, what did it say? Or I really didn't process it. So with these two, my goal is to just go slow, steady, take it in, apply it, and then go about my day. So I start my day with my tea and my mommy morning basket. I'll put on the show for a kid. I will, you know, if they want to play Play-Doh, let them play Play-Doh. If they want to, just pretty much whatever they want to do to kind of have a slow start. And our girl will say, thanks for letting me have these slow starts. They're really easy mornings. I really like that. So for me, it's kind of been like, sure, if you want to watch a PBS show or a movie in the morning while you're eating your breakfast, I, I'm fine with that. I don't care. It gives us all time to kind of slowly start the day and get started with a better attitude because I have noticed my kids wake me up. I don't get up before them yet. So I'm usually woken up with a poke to the nose or a forehead or a cheek poke. And that's it. As Soon as my eyes are open, the questions start. So now I've kind of just said, let's ease into it. You do your thing for a few minutes. I'll do my morning basket, drink my tea, and then we can kind of regroup, start school, you know, have breakfast, all that stuff. And if my attitude is good and set for the day, then typically that trickles down to them and I can kind of see a difference. If I start the day grumpy and frustrated, it kind of goes with them and we have a pretty rough day. So I've been trying to be way more intentional about setting that time aside. And I mean, the goal is one day to wake up before the kids and get it done and then that way when they get up i'm fresh ready for them greet them with a smile and a hug in the mornings and we start our day so i will try to link all this stuff below so it's super easy to find if you're interested in it um and then if you have any questions let me know but uh, this basket's ever changing when i finish one thing roll into another and it just it helps it truly helps me kind of feel centered in the day have my time with god get myself focused, and then we move into the school part of the day. So I hope that this was helpful. If you saw something you like, I hope you check it out. And let me know if it works for you. If you like it, you don't like it. Um, if you check it out soon and you want to kind of go through it together, let me know. We can do that too. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Have a blessed day.